Hello, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the design builder uh, option of incorporating low pr energy profiles, uh, low carbon energy technologies into the design builder model. For that, we have created a 30 meter by 30 meter uh, building, uh, one zone building, and we have another zone of the pitch roof here. And as you can see, the north direction this is the south side so we are going to put uh, as we are considering this in the northern hemisphere we are going to put the solar panel on the uh, south surface for that we have to go to the drawer solar collector and we have to click add solar collector photovoltaic now we have to create the solar panel on top of that and if we go to visualize option we can see the solar panel yeah see the change in color of the surfaces so now we have to go back to edit and in edit option uh, we have to go for generation in good uh, electric load so if you have see that we have electrics and load center yeah so we'll click one we have one electric load center for this one and then we have to uh, click the option of dc with inverter or ac baseline or ac inverter plus dc inverter plus dc storage and dc inverter too so we are going to go for DC with inverter, but we are going to create a copy and we are going to rename it something for test. Okay, so if we can just go to edit option now. Now, uh, here we can see that it didn't change, so we'll change it here also. Okay, and here we have base load, demand limit, track electricity, or track schedule operation scheme. We are going for base load operation scheme, and we have the electrical bus type. We have different bus types here, so we'll go for direct current with inverter option. and now we have to go to the generation list as you can see here we have we can add 30 generation list to a single load center uh, we are going we have just one and this is a photovoltaic you can have constructive bpi bipv which is building integrated photovoltaic or glazing with bipv we will work with uh, photovoltaic because it's uh, just in the south the surface of the roof now we have to click here and we have to point out which one is the solar collector if we click ok and it should work now if we go back and click simulation we should see there is a generation amount let's do it for two days There you go. So, do we have a generation? Yes, we have a generation electricity. So, to have a better idea of what we have done with it, we will go and extract a energy plus IDF file, and then we'll analyze the data first. We'll go for export simulation, and okay. and we can change it to test 01 we'll open it we'll get rid of all the there we go
after preparing the model and idea uh, extracting the idea file uh, we are going to open the ep launch and we'll browse to the folder to get the test 01 and we'll simulate with non gatwick so there is no severe error good news let's go for the variables now here we can see that this is the total energy uh, uh, electricity uh, consumption of that facility uh, of which interior equipment and other uh, lighting and this cooling and heating is there uh, cooling is from uh, electricity so cooling lighting and equipment are contributing to that con energy consumption on the other hand here we have the electricity produced so if you just delete this for the ease of our analysis excellent so <coughs> we have simulated for the month of january so now we have two variables here one is the electricity uh, generation and one, another one is the electricity uh, consumption or the demand now if we plot them in a line chart we'll see that it's in joule value so the value looks that big we can convert them into uh, kilowatt hour which we have showed in previous uh, uh, videos so here we can see that always there is a constant uh, energy consumption throughout the month and this second line is actually the energy generated so now our target would be to change different parameters of our design to reduce this energy uh, generate energy required and we can reduce the gap between the energy we can generate and energy we use so that uh, we can uh, check that what are the design options uh, are better to uh, have approach for the zero energy in, uh, building so this is how you can uh, uh, do different design options and you can compare the result uh, with uh, this type of charts you can do it one day or five days or you can select it your yearly yearly will be a lot of data but if you can do like um, summer uh, day uh, summer design days winter design days and uh, take uh, regular interval days uh, throughout the year and you can compare different uh, design options and then you can see that how uh, you can how much you can generate and how much you can actually compensate for, uh, to extract from the grid now if we want to add a wind turbine in the system of the design builder what we have to do let's go to the design builder file uh, in case of wind turbine we have to understand that uh, it will not show graphically that where is the wind turbine is there but you can it can calculate it for that we have to go to the generation option and then we have to go to the for test and here You can go for there are two options you can add um, alternative current or you can add alternative current with storage so if you have alternative current then it's get connected and if you do that then you will see that it directly goes to wind turbine and in there you can add what type of wind turbine you have it doesn't have any small wind turbine it only has a large or medium sized a large one is um, overall height is th uh, medium size is overall height is 31 meter and the large one is uh, overall height is 90 meter so if we have a medium size for our one is more than efficient uh, if we want to create 
uh, a model where we have both options of wind power wind turbines and uh, photovoltaics we have to create uh, two electricity loads from here and then we can add this one is for the solar one so you, you can check that what are the parameters we used uh, with inverter and generation list yep everything is there now we'll go for the ac base load now we'll convert it um, we'll just copy this one another one and we'll edit it change it two options are here for a uh, wind turbine one is alternative current another one is alternative with current with storage we'll go for alternative current and as you can see it's already a wind turbine and it's medium sized okay and we are going to put that one here so if we now go and do the same simulation we'll see that how much generation we have and we can do all the design uh, all the design checking and also compare the energy produced uh, from with energy plus in the same time and check which design is much better or not thank you